Welcome to Mountain Road Life. I am Kristen, this is Cammie, <laughs> and today we are gonna be cutting up potatoes and planting them in our garden bed. So in our last video, we were uh, filling up the garden beds with dirt and some other stuff. <laughs> so if you haven't checked out that video yet, go ahead and take a look. And today we're going to be taking potatoes and planting them in the garden bed. So usually in the late winter or early spring, you will notice that in your pantry, if you have some potatoes, they start to grow kind of gnarly stuff on them. And uh, so this is actually the potato getting ready to become a plant. And so all you have to do to plant potatoes, it's actually really easy. Um, you wanna take a potato and cut it into maybe in half or into quarters and uh, then you just put it in dirt make sure there's enough dirt on top of the potato and then it's basically pretty easy from there uh, it's going to grow into a nice plant uh, the potatoes are going to grow underground so you won't see them growing so there's going to be a lot of greenery that's growing from the potato and also some flowers or some like blossoms and basically uh, later on in late summer early fall the plant is going to look like it's dying and uh, once it looks pretty dead <laughs> that's when the potatoes really start to grow and uh, then you just want to be able to get the potatoes out of the ground before the first frost so it takes a long time it takes you know from early uh, early spring up until early fall but it is worth it and it's one of my favorite things to plant one of the easiest things the two Things that can be complicated about potatoes are in the growing process. As they're maturing as, as plants, you might see potato beetles or uh, potato blight, which is like a mold. So that's just something to look out for. Uh, one potential problem, but otherwise it is pretty easy and a lot of fun. <laughs> All right, so when it comes to cutting up your potatoes, you wanna make sure that each of the cuts has what's called an eye on it. And so uh, since this one is already growing, you pretty much know where you need to cut. Um, so you could just cut it like right in half here. And then I've got two eyes here and two or three here that are growing. Um, and so those are just gonna <laughs> grow into the plants. All right, so now we're just going to cut these in half and you wanna be really gentle as you handle your potatoes because you don't want the little growing parts to actually fall off like I did on that one accidentally. So yeah, you just wanna make sure that you've got an eye on either side. Sometimes there might be a few eyes, in which case you could cut them into like thirds or fourths. So I'm just gonna cut these up. This one's a bit bigger, so I'm gonna cut this one into three sections. got the potatoes all cut up and now I'm just gonna lay them out so I can see where I'm gonna place them and then cover them with dirt so you want the potatoes to have about three inches of soil on top of them and about 12 inches uh, spread apart and then throughout the growing season you want to add more dirt to the potato mound so then there is enough to cover all the growing potatoes the potatoes laid out and spaced apart and now I'm just gonna cover it up with some dirt <laughs> and then it'll be all set and uh, yeah it'll be really neat to just watch the plants come up and another thing that's interesting about the potato plants is if you leave any potatoes behind uh, in your harvest you don't get them all <laughs> then the next spring they'll actually start to pop up so uh, that's <laughs> pretty interesting to watch you can tell where you've left some potatoes behind because they will start growing again the following spring. Well, I hope 
hope you enjoyed watching the process for how to grow potatoes and be sure to check back to see how things are growing in the garden this year and uh, let us know if you're growing anything in your garden. Please leave us a comment below and give us a thumbs up as well as be sure to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and we will see you next time. Thanks, bye. <laughs> Thank you.